Okay, I'm not sure if anybody's watching this right now because we've been having some interruptions with our internet. I've reset everything, so hopefully everything is fixed. I'm hoping that it's all uh, back and going again. I'm hoping that we're not drying out. Probably should throw some more gesso. Probably should throw some gesso on this camera. This camera seems like it's drying out. Probably got these studio lights. Still having some drying out. If you notice that your amazing watch is drying out, it's because of your canvas is sucking it up. Um, Who now? Yeah. Hey Ben, how's it going, buddy? Try to get this going here without any more interruptions. I hope. Check this real quick. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and get jump into this one real quickly. Find me a brush to use. All right. I think I'm going to do a um, little um, tropical type scene today, maybe with some palm trees in here. We'll try to do something like that for this episode uh, on the live show. So make sure y'all share this with y'all your friends so we get more people in here because we're going to do a giveaway at about midway through this painting show. I've already got the names that was on the live comments. I'm taking the names from the live chat. So if you're on live right now, you have an opportunity to possibly win something on next week's episode. So make sure that you... Um, like and share these uh, this video here so we can get more people on here and we can uh, get more giveaways going. So I'm taking a one inch brush and I'm going to go into some Hansa Yellow with a little titanium white on it. And the reason I do the titanium white first before I go into the other because I want to check see how clean my brush is because that brush is getting blue in there. It's going to make green on the canvas. So, Hey Missy. Okay. hair there. Don't worry about the little hairs. Those happen. I actually soaked this brush in some paint thinner. And I just washed them out with some of that DIY cleaner we, we have. And I'm hoping this brush We'll stop shedding. There goes a little happy little train going by. <laughs> All right. Okay. So if you soak your brushes, um, I let this soak for two days because I forgot about the brush that I was working on my new book, and I forgot about the brushes set in the um, uh, mineral spirits. And then you'll have brushes that'll shed like that after you let them soak for a while. And um, so that's what I'm dealing with right now because. I forgot about them, but I'll, I'll be fine here. So I'll take a little bit more. I'll put down at the bottom. So I'm using some Hansa Yellow. And if you're just now tuning in, I have Amazing White on the canvas. Hmm. Hey, Joe. Okay. After this, I want to throw a little bit of some... Lizard and Crimson. Now this Lizard and Crimson is very strong, so just a little bit. Um, I always see folks always ask me about how do I get those little light pink hints in my paintings. Sometimes I'll use that tropical pink gesso, but if I'm using just a white base coat, like my Amazing White, you want to build it up some slowly because the Lizard and Crimson is actually a very strong color depending on what brand of paint you buy. But I found that most brands Lizard and Crimson is quite strong, so be very careful with it. And right now I'm getting a little bit of an orange tint because I have that Hansa yellow still in the brush. So I want more crimson in that. So I'll throw more crimson in. And again my medium is drying out on me because we had some problems trying to get this feed going and 
I tried reapplying it on here, but that, that light's just uh, drying us out. Yeah, it'll be okay. Again, don't let your brushes soak in anything, because then you'll be dealing with like I am right now. Oh, that's a medium to this. Hey, Terry. Let me get something kind of basic on because I had some mini beginner um, students of mine out there asking me about can we do a, something simple like a simple tropical scene. They're trying to do something like that for a for a friend. So I thought we'll try to do something like that this week. You can always send me your suggestions on the page here. Comment them and let us know. We have a monkey face on it, Ben. Don't worry, we're getting on it. We'll get there. We'll get there, Ben. I'm just trying to fight this amazing white right now. <laughs> it's dried out on me. We might have to get monkey face on that amazing white. Okay, let's see here. As you can see, it's a little dry through here. And because this canvas here, now if you get a cheaper canvas like I'm using right now, this medium will suck it in because they're, they're making them cheaper, cheaper, and cheaper. So what I usually do is I add a coating of my uh, white gesso that I have. Uh, it's actually a little stronger, but um, it keeps me from having these problems. But we was in a pinch in a time, and, and so I had to get something going. So... Alrighty. Let's get some more pink in here. I'm not sure how much we're going to see here. The main theme of this is going to be something kind of simple that, that you all can do at home um, for a simple tropical scene. Because right now it's cold. It's very cold right now. And it's so cold that I'm about to move to Florida. <laughs> Kentucky is just getting, getting on my last nerves here this winter. Can't even use a new studio because of it. Okay, let me see. Let me see what we got here, real quick. Let me take a fan brush. I'm gonna have a little fan brush here, and I'm just gonna take a little blue on it. And some white. And this is Prussian blue. I'm gonna come here with this and kind of spin it in here a little bit, so I kind of see what I got. It's a smaller area over here, and I just want to use that real quick over here. I'm going to pick up some medium with that. Now, you can always pick up some medium and go with it. If you're having a hard time for it to blend. Again, this canvas is just sucking that medium dry. Looks a little bit pasty on here right now. Okay. I'm gonna think it's two inch brush. I'm just gonna kind of blend that. And get muggy faced on it, Ben. I'm gonna take a little, make some little clouds in here, and I'm gonna take and start off with this dirty color here. And kind of see what we got. I'm gonna go over and grab some medium because this canvas is drying out very badly. 
so I have to use a little medium on it. And I'll throw in a little bit of a cloud. I kind of got a hazy look up there at the top. And anybody who's ever been to the beach or seen photographs, you know you get a lot of hazy, hazy scenes from there. And it, it, you know, do some hazy stuff like that in your seascapes, and you'll really get a, you'll get that sail you're looking for. You have folks really wanting to buy it. I'm just using a number three fan brush. And I'll bring it down there too. Don't matter. Now, if you got a lot of blue in your brush and you bring it down here to this yellow, we're going to have you a mess down here. Okay. There is some clouds going. Yeah, I'll take an old hake brush. Now just soften those down. I don't want too much going on in the background today. I just want kind of something here the way we can put those palm trees in there. It's going to really pop out. Alrighty. I'm going to mix up a little color here. I'm going to take the color we already had, some blues in there, some white yellow, some religion crimson. I'll take a little burnt number with that. It's kind of a, a reddy, browny tone. It's kind of a... See that color? Okay. Now I'm going to use that for the background back here. And for a star, I'm just going to... I'll use this not to kind of guide me a little area. Like that. So I have folks ask me about this. Getting the um, the scale of some background stuff going. You can use your knife to do that with. Okay, hopefully we're back up again. We're just having some problems with our internet. It is really going and really slow today. So I think we're I think we're live and going. We're going. Okay. Wait till it gets a little bit of traffic on here and this so we can do the okay. We have three. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this giveaway real quick before it cuts back off again. I'm sorry about the internet doing its thing, but what are you gonna do about it? So I'm gonna got, I got some names in this hat. I'm gonna do a little giveaway here. I'm just gonna wanna grab a little name here. Yeah, got got one. Set that hold that on. Okay. And it is Joanne Helper, I believe. That's your, how you say your name. <laughs> but message me and you won yourself the amazing clear medium um, from last week's episode because you comment on while we live. And so by the end of this little video, if we can finish it before it goes down again with the internet, we'll do another giveaway on something uh, that I was able to grab out of the little out of our warehouse today. Uh, so, Joanne Helper, I think that's how you pronounce your name. You won yourself some amazing clear. So, let me know. Messages on the Brand Thomas Art page here and we'll get that shipped out to you. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get back into the um, the painting here. Okay. We have a fan brush. I want this to be brighter in the water, so I'm adding some amazing uh, white and some of this yellow. I'm just going to brighten this up here. I think sometimes you just have to come back in here and add some things. And I'll bring back some of this here. And this almost reminds me of a painting that I've that I've got coming out in my new book. So you can expect some uh, very colorful painting in there. I'm 
Okay. I'll kind of set that back down. Be here from something. Probably that one inch breath we had going a while ago was soaking and it didn't shed it away. Okay. Let's go ahead and add some uh, water lines back here in the background. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for joining us in on the show and uh, I think you'll really enjoy that that new medium. Okay guys, let's go in here and just, just do a little, a little something going on. I'm not sure where we're going with this one today. I'm just kind of going and painting as I go. Okay. You can bounce some of that light around. Just on a lake here. It's super fun to go on the lake on a boat, like on a pontoon or something, and, and just sit there on the on the lake and enjoy all the scenes because um, I really enjoy going and doing that. You can go up there and go over a big old lake and um, up in uh, Moorhead, I believe we went to here in Kentucky. Got a huge lake there. Okay. And let's see. I have some clear over here going. Yeah, that's it. Can't remember the name of it there. Okay, I was thinning down some paint here. And then way back here in the distance. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to throw in just a few little palm trees. In the distance. So we'll throw just a very few amount. Can you see those little bitty small palm trees? Hope you can see them without me being in the way. They're just very small. Impressionistic palm trees. Almost kind of doing like a, um, a star sign or something, another in the background here. Just a few, just to, so that I can fill some of that stuff in. I'm also going to throw a little bird here where I got the color going. Okay, that's good. I want you to see some of those. Let's put a few back there. Okay, I'm gonna throw in a big old palm tree over here. So I'm gonna take some black, some sap green, some crimson, a little bit of blue, and we can just shoot in a, a palm right there. And maybe we got a little bit of land here. I'm just going to add just a little bit of clear medium to this. Just a little bit. I'll bet I can get this stuff to move around all down here. I'm going to show you a little trick to some palm trees here. Uh, a few years ago, I kind of showed my trick of how I do palm trees on a video I've done, 
I think 2014, I believe it was. And ever since I made that video, everybody's changed their palm tree technique, and it's helped so many people. So today I want to show you a way for beginners to join in on that and get some great palm trees a little simpler. And we have two in here. Let's do two little palm trees. You can do one or three, four, five, ten, whatever you want. Okay. Now we're gonna do a little method that everybody knows. And that's we're gonna take our fan brush and we're gonna to start to put in our tree. Okay? Start putting in the palms, the little leaves. Where you want them to go. Alright? And this is just the basic start of your palm tree. Kind of the shell. Now this is going to go way off the canvas. Oh yeah. That's, that's his girlfriend though. That's a little special. There you got it, my girlfriend. Okay, and you can see this is just the basic steps of the palm trees you probably already used to doing, right? So we're gonna make this come to life even more, make these really jump out. Make them look even more realistic. Now, you can take it and pull down. That's one way of doing it. But I'm gonna show you a better way, a better method to do your palm trees. If I can find my liner brush, I said it will go. I'm about as blind as a bat, so trying to find that's going to be difficult. A mess. What a mess. Oh, finally, here it comes. Yay! Woo! We rescued it! <laughs> Alright, so back on these little palm trees. If we ever get done this video, I get done this video. I tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take me a good and long, long nap. Okay, I'm coming here and I'm just taking this and I'm pulling down with some lines and giving a little bit of a curl. And that's gonna make these look more realistic. Okay. And then on this side of the tree, the same way. But if you haven't um, joined us yet on our Facebook group, it's a free group. Uh, the link's on this page right here. We have a little link to that. So if you uh, haven't uh, decided to join it yet, it's free. You can post your paintings on there. <laughs> you know it's live now. This has been a crazy, a crazy, crazy ride on this painting. But, you know, I go to show you, just keep going, keep going at it, and you'll, you know, you'll finally get to the finish line. So hopefully, this easel don't break down on me, and we can finish this painting. So that's one more thing that we got to think about. So it's a richest and easel, so I think it's built very good. So made in America. So we can, we should be okay, but... We did a um, that video on the um, uh, brush washing solution video that I did. Um, this easel actually fell over on me, hit me in the back because <laughs> I had it propped up against the wall and about knocked the breath out of me. I had a uh, experience like getting around with Lillard. Um Was going around looking for a horse. My cousins and my uncle and my dad we went to. We used to live in uh, Jackson, Kentucky. And I'm not sure where they was going to put this horse at, but they were determined to get a horse. It's supposed to be a pony, but that thing was a full-size horse. So all the way up, everybody, you know, me and my cousins, you know, I was little. I'm, I don't know if I even started school yet. But we was all telling each other, oh, I'm going to ride that. I'm going to ride it first. I'm going to ride it first. No, I'm going to ride it first. So all the way up to there on that vamp to that ride, and we was telling each other, you know, going back and forth like little kids would. Point to his hair. And they finally get to the farm where they had this pony for sale. And here we are, everybody's like, you know, who wants to ride the who wants to ride it first? No one else decided to do it but me. 
Good old Brandon T. <laughs> so I get on that horse. I give it a good kicking right in the old, right in the old marbles. <laughs> and next thing I know, a whole saddle of me and old Brandon T's in the air. All I can see the fence, the trees, and the saddle beneath me, and the horse a kicking. Knocked the breath out of me. I thought I was going to die. So. That reminded me of that time I think I broke my back. So, never could walk the same again. <laughs> never could walk the same again, boys. All right, let's try to finish these little palm trees up here. Kind of like a roller coaster ride. You hit that roller coaster, take the air out of you. Except for I felt the ground with that one. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this to thin it down with. That's all it is too. You can do um, plants as well, like what, like ferns or something or other. I don't know the name of that stuff. I just try to paint. I try to paint it on there. Okay. So there's your little palm tree. A nice little easy method to do it. Now, you can add highlights to this. Whatever you want to do to your little palm tree. Okay? So that's a nice little easy method. Now, down here at the bottom, I'm going to add a little bit of um, grass to this. So I'll take a little bit of Amazing White, some Hansa Yellow, a little bit of green with that. Kind of a nice green. Then we're going to tap in some grass. And you can make some tall grasses too. Go wham, and monkey face on it. Boom. Those are tall grasses. Easy to be. Easy as it can be, guys. Just there. There's one. Boom, boom. See? It's that easy. You can do it. Right, there's nothing here that's supposed to be hard. And this ain't, you know, big professional professor college room. We're just trying to have fun. So that's all there is to it. Just have fun with it. There's all kinds of bad stuff going on in this world, and you know we should look at the painting and try to create a great community on here for artists, and just try to just try to have fun. All right. That's all there is to it. Care for each other, love your family, love your friends, care for your neighbor, and we can make this world a better place together. Okay, one brush stroke at a time. You best see me have a real stroke on here while we'll I go and I stare everything with crown one, so <laughs> anyways. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me today on this Thursday night or morning, whichever part of the world you're at. So with this one here, I'm gonna go ahead and sign this painting and then we'll sign off and we'll do another giveaway next week and I'm thinking I may do a fan brush giveaway or something. We'll do something like that or a watch brush or something or another. And I'm going to go ahead and sign this one. I'll sign it over here. Why it's not too, too in your face bold. But I hope you try this little painting out. Share it with your friends. And, you know, maybe we can do another Brandon T. Breakdown live show with some more people watching. Okay. Just sign your little painting. And that's all there is to it. Set it down to where it's kind of a creamy consistency. Um, obviously, where there's no paint here, it would been easier to sign it at. But you can let it dry and then sign it with a Sharpie if you want to. It's whatever you want to do. Or you can take you a, a, a pencil eraser and you can um, just write in your name with that. Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video, this little episode. Um, we did something. We did a little tropical thing, I think. <laughs> a little palm tree. If you have any questions, you can always message me on here, comment on here, share it with your friends. Uh, this one here, I'm going to try to piece it together, what what we have. So hopefully, this will be on YouTube too, so you can watch it later. So hope you enjoyed it. Please share it with your friends. And remember, keep it monkey-faced. And I'll see you all real soon.